Hello, my dear students. Welcome to all in my virtual class. This is Shahjal Al Hamid Pia, lecturer in finance and banking, Milestone College. I hope all are fine and well by the grace of Almighty Allah. My dear students, today I will discuss Chapter Three, Time Value of Money, in your first part textbook. Today's topics is mathematical problems. Of time value of money. Today I only discuss the present value. Formula number one: the present value for single deposit and yearly compounding interest. And another formula: present value for single deposit and monthly compounding interest. Today I will uh, problem solve uh, by these two formulas. Formula number one. First, we uh, practice the two formulas. Formula number one: present value for single deposit and yearly compounding interest. Single deposit means we uh, return from our investment for one time, and we also deposited our investment for one time. Uh, that means one uh, return or one uh, deposit. Uh, PB equals to FB divided by 1 plus I power N for single deposits and yearly compounding interest. And number two formula, present value for single deposit. This formula is also single deposits but monthly compounding interest. Here PB equals to FB divided by 1 plus I divided m power n into m here extra elements is m m means number of compounding in a year my dear students let's go practice a problem problem number one in exchange for taka 20000 payment today a well-known company will allow you to choose one of the alternatives show it in below your opportunity cost is 11 percent alternative a taka 28500 at the end of three years and alternative b taka 54000 at the end of nine years and alternative C, Taka, one lakh and sixty thousand at the end of twenty years you will receive. You are required to determine the present value of each alternative and which alternative will you accept and explain. My dear student, look at the questions. Here are three alternatives and each alternative return single time. First alternative return after three years uh, single time and second alternative return after nine years single time and third alternative returns after 20 years single time. So we will use the present value formula in single times and also yearly compounding let's go the solution of this problem present value of is alternative first we will solve alternative a given that in alternative a future value equals to taka 28500 Number of year three. Rate of interest equals to eleven percent. We break the eleven percent zero point one one, and we require present value. We know present value equals to a b divided by one plus i power n. Here a b means 
future value future value is uh, 28500 divided by 1 plus i equals to uh, rate, uh, rate of return uh, that means uh, 0.11 and n equals to number of year 3 we calculation by the scientific calculator and find out the value 20,838.95 that means 20,839 so the present of alternate A is taka 20,839 next we solve the alternative B given that alternative B the future value of alternative B is taka 54,000 number of year is 9 years rate of return 11% uh, now we will solve the question in present value we know the present value equals to future value divided by 1 plus i power n we putting the value in this formula fb equals to 54,000 divided by 1 plus i equals to 0 0.11 and n that means years number 9 and we find out the calculation value 21,109.93 that means 21,110 this is the present value of alternative B 21,110 now we solve the alternative C given that Future value is taka one lakh and sixty thousand. Number of year twenty. Rate of interest eleven percent. And we require present value. We know present value equals to future value divided by one plus i power n. And also we putting the value in the formula. A b equals to one lakh sixty thousand divided by 1 plus 0 0.11 power 20 that means number of year is 20 and we'll find the value of this formula 219,845.42 so the present value of alternative C is Taka So, the present value of alternative C is Taka 19,845. Now we analyze the result for option B. Alternative A, B, and C present value of cash flows from A 20,839 and b 21110 and c 19845 and initial investment all the alternatives is taka 20000 now we deduct from present value and initial investment for alternative a profit 839 now alternative B we less from present value to initial investment profit this alternative also profit 1110 and alternative C this profit uh, these alternatives present value is under initial investment so these alternatives is loss 100 55 taka loss so i will accept alternative b because alternative b is more profitable
Dear students, now we will practice another problem. Problem number two. Suppose you want to have the five blocks saved by the time you reach at age 30. And suppose that you are 20 years old today. If you can earn quarterly 12% on your fund, then you will require how much would you have to invest today to reach your goal? And how much would you have to invest today if you can earn 11% in monthly? The students look at the questions very carefully. Uh, this uh, here um, uh, rate of interest uh, quarterly and another monthly but deposits single time so we'll use the formula number two for solve these questions calculation the present value if the interest rate is 12 percent quarterly Given that future value is taka 5 lakhs, number of years 30 minus 20 equals to 10 years. Rate of interest I equals to 12 percent, it's, uh, it's 0.12. Number of installment or compounding in a year equals to 4 because these questions rate of interest are count in quarterly quarterly means three months three months three months so the term in a year four times present value equals to what we know present value for quarterly formula or monthly formula in single time pb equals to fb divided by 1 plus i divided m into n minus m into n we putting the value in the formula fb equals to 5 lakhs divided 1 plus i equals to 0 0.12 divided 4 into 10 into 4 and after calculation we find out the value one lakh fifty three thousand two hundred seventy eight point four two now the record number b calculation the present value if the interest rate is eleven percent monthly given that future value are same 5 lakhs number of years 10 years rate of interest 11 percent and number of compounding or installment here 12 because it's uh, it's a compounding monthly we know the present value equals to a B divided by 1 plus I power M uh, 1 sorry 1 plus I divided by M power N into M we putting the value in this formula a B 5 lakhs divided by 1 plus I equals to 0 0.11 divided by 12 into 12 10 into 12 after calculation, we find out the value one lakh sixty-seven thousand two hundred seventy-one point six five. So, my dear students, I hope you are all understood how to calculate present value for single deposit or return, for monthly and quarterly and yearly. Thank you to all and goodbye.